Hey everyone, this video here is to show you how to make your final pretty version of the graph where it's all labeled, spacing is right, the sig figs are right, make it that nice polished version. We've got our data pl plotted here with our XY scatter plot. We've got the trend line added. We've even updated the sig figs on the trend line. And so now we need to add some labels, maybe get rid of some of this white space, get rid of the grid lines, things like that. So the first thing to do is let's add the axis labels. So to do that, we go up here to chart design. Then we want to add a chart element and we want to add, let's do the Y axis first. We'll click here and delete this default. In this case, it's energy in units of joules. And then I'll click out of there, and there's my Y axis label. And then now let's do the same thing for the X. Axis title, primary horizontal. And again, let's get rid of this. In this case, it was one over wavelength. Now it has units of one over meters. And if I leave it like this, that one, negative one is not a superscript, but we can make it a superscript. And to do that, just highlight that negative one and then right click and go to font and this little window will pop up and then you could say superscript and hit okay and oh i only did the negative let's do the one two font superscript okay and then there on my negative one is also a superscript now it looks like nice and formal now, the other thing I noticed is I got a little empty space here. I don't need for this Y axis to start down here at zero. In fact, it looks like I can start around three to the negative 19. So let's rescale the Y axis. We'll click once to get the axis highlighted. Make sure you've got it highlighted, then double click. And then you get the bar graph under axis options. And notice right now the minimum is set at zero. Well, let's change that to three E to the negative 19. Hit enter and notice the spacing now it's taking up more space on the graph and then let's do the same thing for the x-axis click once to make sure you're highlighting the x-axis then notice we're already in the window instead of starting at zero it looks like i can start at one to the sixth and hit enter and now we've got this graph taking up more space and taking up the whole range of the graph rather than just the top corner and it looks more spread out and more organized and again you don't have to take what excel gives you you can dictate and be the boss of excel if you wish to put a title you could do that here if you don't want a title you can just delete it if you ever want to have a title again it's up under art chart elements and you could add a chart title above the chart and there we go we've got a much prettier much more detailed, more spread out, much more professional looking graph. We've got our labels, we've got our sig figs, we've got our scaling, all of that part is done and it looks much more professional. There you go.